620 acres of land that was an original land grant to a bloke called Lieutenant Bowen. It's sort of a jewel in the middle of the World Heritage, Blue Mountains and Wallamai National Park. It's right on the border of both. And when I decided to build a tree house, I came across some doco on a tree house in South America. And the local Indians that built the tree houses reckoned that the higher the tree house, the higher the status. So I thought I'd better make it a really high tree house so it's got lots of status. Lots of people want to know how high we are. On the, the corner near the spa, we're about 35 feet off the ground. But if you took a leap off the veranda, you could leap for about 60 feet. When I got up the first pole to measure it, I only got about two thirds of the way up the ladder and thought, oh my God, I've stretched just a bit too far this time. On pretty well any day, so long as it's not windy, you can hear the water in the ravine. You hear the water rushing over the rapids. It's pristine water that comes out of springs from under the mountains in the World Heritage Area. The rainforest it gives off moisture that turns into clouds and you can actually watch clouds forming. You can see the eucalyptus coming off the trees around lunchtime. You can see rain from above and the light changes are just stunning. And the cliff faces are just beautiful with different lights on them. Sunrise, sunset, through the middle of the day. Butterflies flying around the tops of the trees. You can actually look at the tops of the trees, of gum trees around the tree house, see them flowering, see the butterflies, see little birds. You're kind of up there with that area of nature that you wouldn't really see unless you were watching it on a doco on nature, on TV. Everyone loves a tree house.